And now let's go to past. We should have started with past, I'm sorry. But now let's go to past, an action that just happened, you know, and it's still going. So that is past continuous, okay? And number one is, I practiced the guitar when he came home. I practiced the guitar when he came home. I was, was. Now, the past, the auxiliary um, verb to be is being um, practiced, used in the past tense. I was practicing. Okay. I was practicing the guitar when he came home. When he came home. Number two, while Alan worked in his room, his friends swim in the pool. What would that be? While Alan, uh huh, while Alan, past tense of to be, while Alan was working in his room. Come on, his friends. What were they doing? His friends, his friends, where? Where? Plural. No longer was. Where? Swimming. Double M, swimming in the pool. The next one. We not cycle all day. Cycle means to ride the bike. We not, not Chelsea, it's negative. We not cycle all day. It becomes, we, becomes what? We, yes, not cycle all day. We did not, we aren't, we aren't cycling all day we are in cycling all day okay we are in cycling all day or we weren't cycling it's actually we better put we weren't cycling all day we weren't because it's past where I would have been present we weren't cycling all day and then my head Ache. Past tense, my head, my head was aching. Everyone shout, everyone, okay, was shouting. Okay, they meet secretly after school. They, what would that be? Met, remember? They, no. They, I'm sorry, were, past tense, meeting secretly after after school past continuous where was where it um, so that's what you often use as far as um, the past continuous is concerned because it has to be the past tense of course you know that the past tense of the slurry to be was for singular wearing for plural and of course, the wearing is exceptional for the third person, which is you. You weren't there. They weren't there. I wasn't there. We weren't there. So that is the past continuous. I hope that you get to practice. And I'm going to move on now to um, the future. We're going to move on to the future. 
and future continuous tense and it's simple the future continuous tense is about what is to happen and um, you know and the future continues we know about the future you add what you add shall or will and so let's start off with the future at the moment we sleep it would be at the moment we are okay you go back to the present tense of to be at the moment uh, at the moment we at midnight we sleep it's gonna be at midnight we will be sleeping we will sleeping so the future you have the will and then the ing this time next week we sit at the beach this time next week we will be sitting double T at the beach at nine I watch the news okay you're to procrastinate you're talking about future plans as future continues at nine I watch the news at nine Come on. I will be watching the news I will be watching the news yes and then Nigel come to the to the picnic and it has to be the instruction is to put it in a negative form you see it and Nigel come to the picnic Nigel, so how would that be? Nigel will not be coming to the picnic. Nigel will not be coming to the picnic. And then the next one is a question. Where sleep? It's a question. Where? Will you be sleeping? And it could as well be where will they be sleeping? Where will we be sleeping? Where will Sharon be sleeping? The bottom line is will be and the ink. Okay? And so that brings us to the last one. Sorry, I can't. I cannot. I take my daughter to the doctor. Sorry. I can't. I cannot. I will be taking my daughter to the doctor. There you go present past future present you have the auxiliary to be that has to be conjugated in the present tense and then you continue with the ing of the verb or the word in brackets you have the past that the auxiliary to be or to have um, is conjugated in the past tense the verb to be is was where it is actually was for the um, singular and where for the plural with an exemption of you and then added an ing always ing and then you have brings you to the future the future what will happen you know it talks about future tense you have um, the will the be and the ing i will be there will be she will be we are we will be and so um it's easy so these are some of the exercises remember what we worked on today 
put them in as far as the tenses are concerned. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be more than welcome to reach out to you and to help you as best as I can. Um, do practice a lot of them, either with your auras and your writing. And thank you. And once again, Merry Christmas.